Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So here we see uh, another question. So we will talk about 135 to 100. So here we are creating a proxy. So proxies are new concept in JavaScript and pro proxies are like a new handler. It, it's like creating the target object from the handler. Uh, it behaves like the same way. So if you are doing a uh, you are setting and getting the value, so it will just invoke the setters and getters from the object. So name will actually call set and here it will call get method. So it output should be C. Okay, so here what we are doing is export default uh, function we are exporting and here we are importing sum. Right, so sum function actually represents whatever we are exporting from this. So we can actually call some dot uh, I mean the exact answer for this should be because some is alias right so some for uh, answer should be a c so I'm not sure pretty much about this some dot default how it is coming because export default here you are doing a default export so everything whatever you are exporting that is coming in the alias sum so some dot default okay okay yeah because uh, here you created alias, so you have to actually access each and every function from some dot, right? So answer should be C. Now something about promises again. So my promise, promise dot resolve, promise dot resolve. It's a resolved promise. Then again you are resolving the same message. Function one and function two. My promise dot then. Okay. Then we have a set timeout with timeout zero. And then we have a last line so it's a little tricky so here we should get promise then first of all there is a last line then promise then timeout last line promise then timeout last line timeout and promise here it should be because we can resolve the answer from a week here it will await for the promise first of all promise it should return promise then it should return last line then timeout promise last line and timeout promise last line and timeout okay there is one more timeout Yeah, look like D only promise last line and timeout because we can see that it will await for the promise so it will get last line sorry it will return promise first then it will print last line then it will resolve the set timeout this is the output of second function in the first function we are getting last line promise last line that is correct then we are waiting for promise and then timeout okay so counter we are increasing the counter property and uh, we actually incremented this to counter one dot increment then again increment then we actually created another reference of the same object and doing increment and then we are checking the count okay so this should be like uh, we have increased it twice and then again we have incremented it from the another reference but it is still pointing to the same object so counter should be 3 here we are doing a flat so I mean flat flatten is a method in JavaScript where you can pass dot flat infinite so it will merge all the arrays here we are passing the length I mean the depth of the flattening is 1 so it will actually flatten this one but it will not flatten the pizza slice so it should be B. Uh, promise resolve. We are actually resolving this promise. And here we have a sync await. It will start. Await my promise. Yes. So it will return this message. Why there is so much try catch. And then finally it will execute. So some cool data and oh finally. So some cool data. See. Uh, random value 21 const random value so 
type of random value okay because with the latent const you don't get the hoisting in the functions random value is defined here but here we don't have the reference of random value so it should be a reference error yes reference error it is now number is not a number number is not a number is so name yes that is not a number is is not a number is again a false is not a number name that will be true is not a number name true is not a number is which will be false so it will be false 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 true is not a number name should be true is not a number is it should be already false okay it should be false false true false see here we got uh, items and uh, what we are doing is uh, we are doing some kind of a destructuring here and what we are doing is in this array index third index we are assigning this new uh, icon so we already have three indexes the fourth index is getting added here starting from 0 1 2 3 so answer should be B a little tricky because this is what destructuring does okay now it's internationalization and we are passing en us en us so i will just directly go to the output i mean it's just about unit uh, pricing should be en en us manner so it should be dollar and mph so it should be b xyz so here we are passing xyz as an object here we are passing something else now let's see try to map this argument to this object are we getting xyz in an object no right so xyz will be undefined in this case so be d okay so here we got a generator function i start i is less than end i plus plus and we are resolving the promise for the i i start till end so its range we already have 0 1 2 3 we are awaiting item of generator which is one two three console dot log item okay so this is the range function because range function is generating the i trivial object and we can actually run for of loop onto that and it is resolving the promise and we are awaiting that right so it should i think we should get resolved promise for that so one two three because we are awaiting the promises so we, we get the resolved output as one two three coming to this it's a uh, you can see the curry function nested function function calling another function calling another function and we are doing console.log xyz should be straightforward uh, it should just return as the sum of it by printing the output oh let's see this because it's a nested closer, we are calling add function 4, then 5, then 6. It should be simple, I think, uh, 4, 5, 6. Or there is uh, something strange going on here. 4, 5, 6 should be my output. Yeah, that is correct. Now, type of name. So here, this condition will evaluate first. Name equal equal to object, name equal equal to string both are false right so if both are false type of uh, false is a boolean that is a string and then you are negating it so both should become false right uh, here we have language and we are setting the language set language and we are just doing this dot language dot push so what config dot language is pointing to Dot language is still an empty array. Why it is asking for it? Because it's a setter. We are not uh, doing a getter. What's the output? Console.log config.language. 
uh, we have actually set this property also and language like okay languages and we are actually accessing language property so we don't have a getter to get this we just have a setter so it should be undefined right we have just setter we don't have a getter to so it will be undefined groceries banana apple and this index of banana is groceries dot index of includes all these methods come in same line index of banana it will return non minus one value so we have to buy this right index of banana okay it should correct why it's a little strange so we have groceries array we are doing index of uh, let's see the answer index of banana to the if statement will return zero which is the false value oh, okay 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 sorry yeah so it returns the index which is non minus one value means it returns the index and zero is again a false value so you will go here little tricky because you always need to take care uh, what value you are going to get if index is zero obviously it is a falsy okay first name pat and get full name all our basic functions person dot pat dot name person dot pat dot name so you can access this property person dot pat dot family name person dot pat dot family dot name we don't have this property somewhere it can be undefined person dot get full name Preprint first name last name so it should be B second one is undefined otherwise and last one is what we are doing member dot get full name where is member yeah it's undefined a reference error member is undefined and you are trying to access property so it will be a reference error right you can't access something on the undefined list okay we have the number one list is this list and what we are trying to access is num equal to num plus one so it should be two zero one two it's still allowed not sure so zero one two index should be this or it should be a syntax error or b so plus one operand will increase it to two then index of two list of two is this so we get this icon which of the following option will return six okay so here we are calling some value uh, we are passing the argument as an array one two three but it is taking arguments so whenever there is a multiple argument you can actually uh, pass that as a rest parameter dot 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 array okay but uh, one two three it should not be this it should not be this c yes so we can spread and iterate them so we are spreading them them is an, an, an ob array but finally they will become once you spread them it will become x1 y2 and z3 person object and change age and change is a name so change is we are passing the person object here so you are actually changing the is here to plus one so it should be 22 and then change is and name here you are not passing anything so default it will fall back to the person object and you are changing the is and name so name finally should be sara and age should be 23 see okay let's see this we are passing this explicitly this object so it will update this object person object okay so person object when you are changing it you are changing the age which is 22 but when you are passing this is a default argument then still you are passing the person object as a default so let's see the explanation then we invoke this function however we don't pass a parameter instead of value x is equal to the new object since it's a new object it okay okay got it so whatever the mutation we have done in the person object that doesn't apply because we are not passing the same person object it's a new object we are passing because here we are doing spreading right 
so it's a new object we are passing so whatever the changes which are happening here doesn't applies to the changes here I mean it will not override that and we are calling the person object okay interesting question here we have the map and the function map dot set function with the value hello world map dot get greeting map dot get my function which method will return value hello world okay greeting my function okay we haven't set greeting so we don't know and the second one is my function which is returning greeting should be two or uh, because if two and three both should be there b is two so that is some some logic about map let's see this so while adding key value pair set method then key will the value of the first argument passed to the set function in this case the value is hello world my map is now this okay some good explanation keys greetings okay this is incorrect it's just about my function my function will is still representing a function right it's not uh, calling it so that we can get the value greeting okay so the output is b which is 2 okay we will we'll talk about this i will just put this in the parking lot <laughs> so there is an alert set interval we are calling and console.log alert set interval callback won't be invoked config equal to null we are setting now think about this there is a config object we have the alert in that we never invoke config.alert and uh, config is null if config is null you can't invoke config.alert yeah so what do what happens is whenever you do set interval it will get invoked until unless you actually do clear an interval here so see <coughs> okay so what we are doing is x this is arrow function returning x and then what it is doing it is trying to evaluate this expression i love to program x is undefined so undefined uh, it's an expression in javascript so type error because x is not defined so either it should be undefined to program yes undefined to program because if it is undefined then it will also uh, it will not it should not impact with this let's see i love to program so that means it is undefined and it is not impacting the next expression we pass the value i love as an argument okay okay got it so here it's an arrow functions and we are calling this function with this i love as an argument is so it will actually returning the same value so it's like uh, you are actually calling the function in the second block okay so that's it guys uh, i'm just closing it i will just share the link this is open source github link where you can actually look at these uh, coding questions and i see these questions coming at different places in the coding quizzes and coding test so at least have a look on to these this will help you to crack some of the coding test